we're going to sketch the corresponding graph of the shape. Remember a solid line if it has the equal sign with the inequality and a dotted line or a dashed line uh, for the um, one that doesn't, for the greater than or less than. Test a point inside and outside the parabola. Remember we were saying to do it twice just to make sure. And then shade the successful test. Not Shading means it includes that, right? Okay. So who remembers how to graph a parabola that is, say, y equals x squared minus 4? So can anybody describe what that base parabola looks like? It went down 4. Okay, so down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we are 1, 1, 2, 4. And you can probably um, get the rest. Is everybody good with that? Okay, so is this going to be dashed or solid? Dash, it doesn't have an equal sign, so it's going to be like that. Yes? Something like that? Okay, so now we're going to test a point inside and outside. So what test point do you want? Zero, zero is a a great test point, so we're going to test 0, 0. So we're plugging 0 in for x, 0 in for y. So that's pretty easy quick, um, mental math. You get 0 is less than 0 minus 4, which is minus 4. Is that true? That's true? No. That's false. So let's test a point outside the parabola. <laughs> One negative... Why don't you pick something that's really... Yeah, zero negative five. Sure. So we're going to test zero negative five. The problem if you're too close to the parabola, um, if you didn't draw it quite right, you might, uh, um, it might be part of it. So anyway, zero goes in for x, negative five goes in for y. Negative five is less than negative four. Is that true? Yes, that's definitely true. So we're going to we're going to shade where 0, negative 5 is. So that would be like that. And so when it's in the form with y, that should make sense to you that the y's are getting less in number on the outside of the parabola. Yes? Okay. So how are we going to graph this one? We need to complete the square to find the vertex. So complete the square. I'll give you a moment to complete the square for y equals x squared minus 4x, and I'll shift the 5 over. Okay, so we take half of minus 4, so that would be minus 2. Squared means we add 4, which is that part of the parabola. I can't just add 4, so I have to subtract 4. So did you get minus 9 then? Yeah. So my, what, what happened to this base parabola then? It went right 2 down 9. And it's base, meaning it still has a 0, 0 pattern. So right 2 down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we have... No stretching involved, so 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And is this going to be solid or dashed? Solid. And I might just do um, a 3, 9 to get my 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to see that this actually crosses there, right? So... Okay. Everybody see why it's solid? Okay, so now I'm going to test a point. Which which one do you want to test? Zero, zero is the best. So I get zero is greater than or equal to negative five. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Just to be on the safe side, we'll test something outside the parabola. What do you want to test? One, two, three, four, five. You're talking about six, zero? Okay. So zero goes in for Y. Oh, this is going to be big. So 30, 36 
minus 24 minus 5. So 36 minus 29 is 7. That's not true. So we're going to shade where 0, 0 is. So that is on the inside of the parabola. Now technically it's in here too, right? Yeah? It's inside the parabola. Okay, are we all good? So example three, <coughs> you're supposed to determine whether this ordered pair is part of the solution. So how would you do this? Yeah, it's just like a test point. You substitute the X and the Y in for the X and the Y. So put one in for X and six in for Y. So six is greater than, if I substitute one in and I square it, there's still a negative there. Do you realize that? So negative one plus one plus four. Of course, those cancel, and we get 6 is greater than 4. So, is this is this ordered pair part of the solution? Well, it's 6 greater than 4, so this would be yes. Okay, I'll give you a second to do B. So, 5 is less than or equal to 2 times negative 1 squared minus negative 1 plus 1. So, this is... 2 plus 1 plus 1. So did you get 5 is less than or equal to 4? So that means no. Okay, and then the other questions you might be asked is um, find the equation or the inequality of this that describes this graph. So they were nice to you and they actually gave you the um, parabola equation. And you just have to determine whether it's less than, less than, or equal to, greater than, greater than, or equal to. So, the way I would do this is I would, you know, look, so, so take, it's hard to see if this is solid or not because it's pixelated. It looks like it is solid, so it's going to have an equal sign. So can anybody take a guess whether it's um, less than or greater than? And why would you say less than? Yeah, like if you look at the Y values, the Y values where it's shaded is getting less in number. Okay, so you should always test a point to make sure this is true. So what, do you want, what point do you want to test? Yeah, let's test zero, zero. What's supposed to happen if we're right? It should be a false. So if I substitute zero in for y and x, I get zero is less than or equal to, zero goes in there, what do I get in this bracket? Minus three, what do I get in this bracket? Plus two, negative three times positive two is negative six, and this is in fact false. And if you want to be really sure, you could test something that's shaded, but... We will go on from there. Okay, and how about this one? So, y is x squared plus 8x plus 12. So, anybody want to take a guess there if it's less than or greater than? Yeah, we're going to assume that it looks solid here. On the, um, I, I think on the worksheet, you can really tell, like if you flip the next thing, you can really tell. So it is solid in this one. So it's going to be greater than or equal to. So now we need to do a test point to see. Zero, zero is not in the shaded, but that would be an excellent point. So what do we want to happen to be false? So we're going to test zero, zero again. 0 goes in for y and the x is, and we get 0 is greater than or equal to 12, and that is in fact false. So we're pretty certain that this is good. <laughs>